Utah. We have launch up. Without further ado, we'll get started. And uh, I'm really excited tonight because we're kicking off with our amp session. Um, you know, 10 minutes of pure, unadulterated All right, amp. And uh, no pressure. Um, and Derek Miner, who is one of the co-founders of Orange Soda, um, who's one of the... Whoa. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. Clark, are you singing, dude? Seriously, Clark. Is it a ringtone? Okay. Um, what was the thing? There's a glee party in, in the house. And, and uh, so if you guys are cool, we could just shut this thing down and go hang out at the glee party. That's probably way better. Who, anybody? Anyway. Um, so Derek is hopefully not going to have to compete with some awesome singing. Um, but uh, I've known Derek for a lot of years. Orange Soda is one of the um, awesome, cool companies here that's doing a lot of neat things around SEO. And uh, so he's going to tell us 10 minutes worth of entrepreneur war stories and lessons and maybe take a couple questions. Derek, come up and okay. tell us what you got. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. You're awesome. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here. This is a lot of fun. Uh, entrepreneurship is one of my passions. And, you know, how many parents do we have here? Okay, good. Um, I would liken entrepreneurship very much to parenthood. And here's why. I was talking with one of my friends uh, recently, and uh, we were talking about it. We finally summed it up with one thing, two, actually two words. Uh, being a parent is just like entrepreneurship in that it brings excruciating joy. So that's really what it is, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I've got three kids. They're a blast. And uh, my son, I, I was actually reading a business book uh, the other day, and he came, sat over, he's like, hey, Dad, what are you reading? I said, I'm reading a business book. He's like, I like business books. Because then when I go to work, I'll know all about business. So I got a pretty good laugh about that because I'm like, you have no idea. <laughs> it's just like when you're, you know, getting ready to start a family and have, you get so excited. But man, when the, when the baby arrives and the diapers are there and you're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? I remember uh, our very first office at Orange Soda, we started... Um, in 2006, we just had our four-year anniversary in October, which was a ton of fun. Uh, we started right at the mouth of Provo Canyon in a little teeny office space. And uh, man, ton of fun. We were like, what are we doing? This is crazy. But I'll, I'll never forget the first check that we had that showed up. And we all gathered around. And we're like, this is the coolest thing ever. We're going to be able to figure this out. Next thing we knew, we had about five or six people in an office in the three offices that were in this little uh, office space. And we ended up moving to another building. And then uh, now we're actually just right over here in American Fork. So again, glad to be here. Hopefully I can offer a couple of words and just a few thoughts. I, uh, I really boil entrepreneurship down uh, to, th to three things. Um, first of all, I would say good entrepreneurs challenge the status quo. They poke holes in it, they have fun with it, and they figure out all sorts of ways around it. Because think about it, we're all looking at good tweets, we're looking at uh, Facebook posts, the ones that we like, we're like, ah, I like that, why? Because it's challenging the status quo. Most people, and sorry, I'll just step on a little bit of a soapbox here, most people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, that's your face, really? Cool. You know, but what about something that's like, man, I'm having a meaningful conversation with so-and-so, or I did something really cool, that's challenging the status quo, and that's why you get likes, links, things like that as, as it relates to uh, paid search and SEO. So, um, so that, that's the first thing I'd say. Challenge the status quo. My son, bringing this all back, I'm working on uh, the computer. And he comes over, he goes, Dad, uh, why is your keyboard not in order? Again, a great question and challenging the status quo. Saying why and asking the questions why, what, why is this important to me? Uh, the next thing I would say would be uh, C. Uh, as you're starting and building a company, uh, create an environment of hard work and fun built on a foundation of trust. That is what is the most important. And you can't confuse fun with results. Make sure that you're driving and moving things forward. Um, and the same thing my son told me. He's like, Dad, he says, you're not a grown-up. You're a boy. 
So I'm, I'm still dealing with that a little bit. And I think it's finding the, finding the child in all of us to say, man, I am going to make a difference, and I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to work hard. Um, another thing that I'd say along that is choose, choose something that you really love to do, that you're passionate about, and with people that you really enjoy because you spend a lot of time with them, <laughs> and uh, that's, that's super important. So and I'd say the three thing is care for your customers. You have to know what's on their mind because that's what it's all about at the end of the day as you're creating or trying to solve a problem for something specific. That's what entrepreneurship is all about, is solving a significant problem. Um, but care for your customers. Uh, this is another great example. When I walked over, I'm like, hey, buddy, come here. And he's like, probably I'm busy, Dad. <laughs> and so we, the customers can't feel that either. Um, but those, those are the things. One of my favorite ads and one of my favorite stories of entrepreneurship actually happened in... Uh, uh, 1914, Ernest Shackleton's Adventure. How many have read that book or know about Ernest Shackleton's Adventure? He wanted to be the first one to the South Pole. Didn't make it. So he said, we're going to figure something else out because someone beat him to it. One of his ad that he wrote um, is actually brought it. I got to show it because I don't want to miss it. The, the lines are fantastic. So this is what uh, Ernest Shackleton said. Men wanted... This is an ad in the newspaper. You can see the little newspaper ad. Uh, for hazardous journey, small wages, bitter cold, long months of complete darkness, constant danger, safe return, doubtful, honor and recognition in case of success. Ernest Shackleton, 4 Burlington Street. Had several applications, ton of people come over. Uh, what, a, what an incredible story, but that's also a really, really good lesson on writing a great paid search ad, by the way. Good call to action. <laughs> uh, but he, an incredible story, I'd recommend you read it on entrepreneurship. Uh, but man, it's a ton of fun, and I just take it back to the very beginning of saying, you know what it's really all about? It's about having fun, having joy in the journey, and it's not uh, always easy especially when it's 3 in the morning, and uh, you remember you got to work and prepare something for, for a customer. Uh, but, man, fun times, and that's what entrepreneurship's all about. So now, how much time do we have, Jeremy? Am I good? Four minutes? So I'll open it up to uh, any questions. Anyone have any questions? Uh, what was your first biggest mistake? First biggest mistake. Good question. Uh, first biggest mistake. Uh, I think there's a lot of mistakes that you make along the way. Um, just, uh, you know, I'd liken it to climbing a mountain. And the higher you get, the more painful it is, the thinner the air gets. Uh, but, man, you got to take, take a step back and, and look, at the, look at the view. But I'd say, um, man, uh, biggest mistake would be... Parade. Uh, I'd, man. It's a good question. <laughs> there, I'm trying to think if there if there's just one. In the bag. Um, uh, finding finding uh, finding really good people, I think, is is a key. Finding smart people, and it's it's tough. It's tough to, uh, but I'd just say stick with that. So next, any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, finding, you know, one of, the, one of the ways that we've been able to find and recruit great talent is through uh, word of mouth and friends of friend who have had great experiences uh, working for a specific company. Uh, important. So the question again, how do you find and retain uh, good talent and, and, and retaining them? Um, you know, we also believe in the spirit of entrepreneurship and uh, again, but I think we keep them through a fun environment and uh, um, again, working hard and working towards a common goal. But one one ways we found to return, uh, recruit great people is through um, through word of mouth. So good questions. So yeah, how are we doing? Okay. I mean, that's a that's a great question. Why don't we have more 
so the question is, um, what's the deficit and how do we, with uh, entrepreneurship and how do we get more people to start businesses? I think one of the biggest challenges right now specifically is capital and the ease and access of, of capital. Um, but man, in Utah, there's, there's such an entrepreneurial spirit. I think that comes from the roots of where we, uh, where we came from and who, you know, people who paid the price to make a difference. Um, but I'd say probably one of the biggest things right now, given the landscape, is, uh, is financing. So good question. Yeah. So what was the first thing that put orange soda on the map and what so made that happen? So um, man, this is great singing over. Uh, the, one of the first things I think that put uh, orange soda on the map, one of the fun things that we did is have a unique name. Uh, we obviously wanted a domain that was memorable and meaningful. Uh, okay. But I think signing, signing uh, one of our first big clients was fantastic and then not only just signing them but taking really good care of them and showing them results. Actually one of the customers that we first signed is still with us today and so I tell you that's one of our one of our biggest accomplishments in being able to show success uh, of to that customer of what we've been able to do. So a ton of fun. Good question. One more question, final question. Yeah right back here. Uh, are you allowed to give us any SEO oh any any SEO advice, I can give you some SEO advice, absolutely. Hire orange soda. <laughs> no, that's a good question. I'd say um, there, are, there are so many things that you can do um, from a search engine optimization standpoint. It's interesting just to see how Google's changed the search results page um, within the last you know, five days, focusing specifically on local. But the one thing that I would say is find whatever your specific keyword is. Um, I'd say just work on content. Uh, Find the right keyword, right content, and your title tag is very important on your website. That's what I'd say. Hey, thanks, everybody, for your time. Appreciate it. Jeremy, here you go.